Hi guys, let's look at uh, on Hoover event on Microsoft Access uh, command buttons and toggle buttons. You realize that uh, the Hoover event makes your system uh, attractive. For instance, you see when I press my cursor on vacancy one, it turns green. When I go to vacancy two, it is uh, uh, blue. This one is white, this one is purple, and this one is black. Therefore, if you press your cursor that way, you realize that your command buttons look beautiful. They look attractive. That is by uh, assigning a property called on hover. Therefore, guys, uh, what you, uh, we usually do, you just go to uh, design view of your stuff like this then for example i want this command button you see this is command 38 i want it to turn a certain color therefore you just make sure it is selected then you go to uh, this uh, event here uh, sorry you just go to all then you scroll down until you get this point here you get to this point we have hoover color we have pressed cara, uh, hover for cara, and pressed for cara. Therefore, you just go to hover cara here. Then you just hit the three dots. Then you choose the cara you want. For example, I want it to be yellow. Then I go to the next button. I do the same. Go to this command that nine. Go to or. Then on hover, hover cara. This one hover cara. I click there. Then I hit the three dots. That one want it to turn to dark blue. Then I click on vacancy three. I again go to command 40 or scroll down, go to hover color here, then hit the three dots. Then I put that color, it's orange. Then I go to number four, that is uh, command 41 or then I scroll to hover color again then I choose my color, that one I want it to turn to blue. Then this one, hover color, that is command 42, or I go to hover color, here, I change that one. This time around, I want it to uh, turn uh, something like grayish. Then from there, you save your work, and then you view your form. Therefore, when I now go to this one, you see now they are changing according to how I have uh, assigned. And therefore, this is now a very attractive that one. But this one becomes even more interesting if you opt to use uh, toggle buttons instead of command buttons. Therefore, for example, if I remove this command button, uh, this, this one's here, if I remove them, then use toggle button for that case. Therefore, I just draw toggle button. Therefore, this is a vacancy, vacancy one. I also draw another toggle button that is for vacancy, vacancy two. We also draw for vacancy three. That is vacancy three. Then we just uh, make this ones uh, bigger, just because we have space to utilize. If I can just utilize my space well that way. Then this one the same. So just make them big. Then I can just highlight this one, increase the font size, something like that. And also, for example, change the font size to a uh, different color like white. Therefore, guys, I want these buttons of mine here to have different hover colors when clicked. And therefore, what I needed to do is to go to this button, go to uh, property, then go to this time round, we can just first of all have the hover color. For this one, I want it to turn to black, but when pressed, when pressed, uh, it changes to red. 
then this one here on hover color on hover color i want it to turn to uh, blue not really it is already blue if i want it to turn to something like that dark green but when pressed uh, it turns red when pressed press color it turns red then this one on hover uh, when the when you hover it uh, you it, it gets yellow but when pressed uh, it turns beige that color it turns this color here that way therefore if now i save and run you see guys what i have but when i press it it turns red this one is dark green when you press it it turns red then this one uh, it's yellow when you turns it turns that red but when you press it again uh, it turns its original uh, color it turns to its original color therefore guys this is how you make your buttons more attractive by uh, use of uh, on hover event and therefore thank you very much for watching uh, remember to subscribe for me if you haven't uh, done that for me also remember to download copies of free projects from my website the url is just below this video thank you very much